Hi, I'm Colin, and let's have a look at the startup wizard for the recorder. So this is the screen you see when you first plug it in for the first time. So we'll start wizard. The first screen we see is the network one. Uh, you'll, you'll need a wire connected between the recorder and your broadband router, and then it becomes an online system. So by default, the unit comes with DHCP ticked and UPnP ticked. Uh, that's fine, you can just click next. I will quickly explain what they're for. DHCP will automatically set up these network connections here. It will negotiate with the router and set the settings here automatically. If you know about networking, you can untick that and manually do it. But if you don't, I recommend you just leave that ticked. UPnP, that allows the three ports you see here to be opened by the router um, using universal plug and play. That's what that's for. Okay, next screen. Now we have the date and time screen. Here you can set the date and time, uh, your format, whatever you like, whatever time zone you're in. Next we have the um, national time servers. You can enable it and it will automatically sync time with one of these highly accurate servers. Or you can do it manually like, uh, like I do. And then you've got daylight saving time here. Again, you can set the unit to automatically switch to daylight saving time at a certain date. Again, I'll just do this manually. Next screen is the IP camera screen. Now, if you've got any IP cameras on your network, this is where it's doing a search for it. As you can see, you've got the uh, egg timer while it searches, and you can see it's found three cameras here, two X-Vision ones and one other brand. And I can simply select each one individually or select them all here, click on the center arrow, add in any passwords, And then it puts them on the right hand side and then when the state button turns green the uh, as you can see along the bottom of the screen here you've got three cameras added and then we'll go next here is the hard drive screen nothing to do here uh, if you do have an external SATA socket on the recorder and you have an external SATA hard drive here at the bottom left you can enable that uh, that unit to be used as the main recording device otherwise it uses the internal drives next screen is the monitor output screen uh, by default it's set to 1920 by 1080 but you can set it to any of these settings here up to 4k next is the information for the mobile app the app is called xiq mobile cms when you get it, you can add the device using either the QR code here or the P2P ID code you can see here. Next, we have a summary of the settings we've just set, and then we can finish the wizard. That completes the wizard video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.